Hey guys, this is Eileen from Basic Blog Tips. Warning, warning. Yes, I'm here to give you a warning today. One of your WordPress plugins has gone haywire. <laughs> now, if you're a fan of Twitter like I am and you have a WordPress blog, you probably have installed a plugin that's called Tweet Old Post. This plugin, it's really neat because what it does, it will allow you to tweet out your old posts automatically. You authorize your Twitter account and you can set this plugin up to post at various intervals, exclude posts that are outdated or no longer relevant. You're allowed to pick your own URL shortener and add a prefix or a hashtag to the tweet. The problem with Tweet Old Post is after the last update, which was about a week ago, uh, today is July 31st, so this happened in the third or fourth week of July. When this plugin was updated, you saw a, a warning in your dashboard that you needed to update a plugin, and most people do the same thing I did. They go in and they just click update, and you figure, okay, everything's good. Then all of a sudden, I started to notice tweets that looked like this. All it is is the link. Nothing else with the tweet. And I know it's not just me. I saw it on several other accounts who I know are using this plugin. So it looks like there is a couple of options missing here. I, You can go back in and reset this, but I noticed that it doesn't ask me for my URL shortener, which was already set for StumbleUpon. But you'd have to go in and say you want to add additional text at the beginning of the tweet or the end of tweet, and you'd have to fill that in again. You have to pick whether you just want the title of the post or part of the title and part of the body or the body only. I don't think anybody's using body only. You probably will use title and body or title only. I prefer title only because if you include title and body, there are times when the body, the very first part of your post will be something like, this is a guest post, or maybe it will pick up some extraneous type like uh, tweet this or share this on Facebook. So. I would steer away from using title and body because I see a lot of tweeters and bloggers using title and body. Just stick to title only. Go in here and add your additional text. I usually put it at the beginning of the tweet just so people know that, okay, this isn't a brand new post, but you might have missed it or something like that. That's the other thing I'd like to add in here. Um, don't miss this. But the problem is you can't use special characters so i have to spell it all out and say do not miss this because it won't pick up the special characters it'll look funky okay uh, sometimes the hashtags work well sometimes they don't so i avoid that and then you can set your minimum i don't want to use this more than once a day maybe twice like every 22 hours or something like that so that there's one way in the early hours of the morning and then later on at night but other people have it set higher and that's fine it's it's your own personal preference and then you pick the age of the post uh, that doesn't matter pick whatever you want pick 10 days if you want and then where you exclude specific posts now this is one thing after the update those posts that I excluded are still excluded. So it remembered part of my settings. Here, these are the post numbers of the ones that were excluded. So the plugin remember part of my settings, but not the other part. And um, hopefully the people from Tweet Old Post, uh, Mr. AJ Matharu, will see this and realize you can't pick your URL shortener anymore. Mine's is set to stumble upon. It remembered that and I'm happy with that, but there may be others who have decided, okay, I don't want to use bit.ly anymore. I want to do like Eileen and I want to use stumble upon. 
And the reason why I use stumble upon, you'd be amazed at the traffic you can get from stumble upon. So if you're tweeting an old post, if it has not been submitted to stumble upon, there's your opportunity to get one of your friends who's a little knowledgeable about stumble upon. They'll realize that, Hey, you need to have that post submitted because when they click on that link, it will give them the submission screen for stumble upon. It won't take them into stumble upon. So that's just a little extra tip for you there. And I hope this is helpful to you. Don't just tweet those links without saying what the links are. Go into your tweet old post and hopefully this warning will expire quickly. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It's Eileen from Basic Blog Tips. You guys have a great day. Peace.